the slaps. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Still Slaps Music Reviews. I'm Shuby, songwriter and rapper here, rapper for Still Slaps. Thank you guys for joining me today. If this is your first time, hopefully we can make a good impression on you. Thank you again for tuning in. Today, we have a review on deck for Tyler, the Creator's new album, Call Me If You Get Lost. Now, this is another one from Tyler, the Creator, who's uh, arguably uh, one of rap uh raps uh probably beloved uh beloved rappers he's definitely up there with like in my opinion uh he's got that cult that same type of cult following that's really uh done him justice uh in today's age um you know kind of uh reminds me of like a cuddy fan base but you know he's just evolved his fan base has evolved from the odd future days uh up until now with this recent release um really the surprise for me came from tyler's last album which was igor uh we all know that uh that did really really well for tyler and uh he was able to get himself a grammy off of it and it was well deserved um i think that that was uh, arguably one of tyler's masterpieces in his discography it proved that he um, in my opinion, is just an alien when it comes down to uh, being this uh, multi-talented artist, um, and uh, which leads me to uh, segue into this new album. This new album from Tyler uh, really, really proves. I want to start off with talking about the production. Tyler, the creator, is somebody who is. He reminds me of a of a uh, new a, a, a new kind of new and improved type of Pharrell. Uh, Pharrell is a uh, obviously we know Pharrell for being tied with the Neptunes and his production catalog uh, with Chad Hugo is uh, undefeated and uh, it is uh, stapled in legacy. Tyler, the creator, is somebody who I believe in 2021, especially off of his last album and what he's done in the past now with his discography, is somebody that we need to consider as being a top tier uh, producer. I feel like a lot of the production on this thing is just uh, woven so beautifully. He did a very, very good job of using, um, I was listening to the album and on a certain, certain tracks, um, certain tracks like uh, Sweet and uh, Slash I Thought You Wanted to Dance have this really, really interesting um, uh, in interesting sonic sonic wavelength when it comes down to the the way the beats sound the, the the sound choice in Tyler what Tyler is choosing to use with certain keys and synths and um, uh, all these uh, different type of styles with the synthesizers he he really has that blend of like a retro um, older 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 sound pieces that he really puts into his production um and it really makes it unique um the transitions on this thing for uh, for for the way the album it sounds uh is just it it, it it really does show you that tyler is putting his all in and really trying to make his projects sound like their own not uh it doesn't sound like a duplicate of anything you've heard you will hear uh in today's modern music especially what uh trap music has done we know that um hip-hop uh with big stars like travis scott and you know what they've done um to change the landscape of the way uh hip-hop sounds um in the predominant nature of trap drums and um just that trap influence in hip-hop's uh sonic wavelength um it's a breath of fresh air when people like Tyler, you know, they don't go that main route. They they know that they have it in them to push past that, you know, past that generic um, sound that you hear. Not that it's a bad sound, but Tyler, the creator, is somebody who, especially on this album, is proving that he needs a spot at the uh, table, a spot on the Mount Rushmore of um, to come uh, of producers, um, and I I believe that it, it's it's a it's an area where Tyler can look in and really experiment with. Um, he has the skill and he has the uniqueness uh, to really be able to do uh, go and 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 work with other artists and really get push them to give that sound. Segue into some of the features on this thing. First of all. Wayne's feature on uh, Hot Wind Blow, 
Wayne has been on a run uh, recently with with just his fe his feature, the his feature verses, the way he's just been going on and just no ceilings, no ceiling ceilings uh, type of type of features and just bodying artists on their own track has been really really exciting, and uh, that's no different with this track. Uh, Wayne gets on and, and and the flow switch ups and the breath control, all of that is spot on. Um, I, I think that Tyler, uh, segueing back to Tyler, uh, Tyler really gets you into the older, older style of uh, of Odd Future, the older style, the introduction, uh, introduction uh, period of of Tyler uh, in his catalog. He gets you into that lane when it comes down to uh, the flows that he gets in on this thing. He's not really doing too much of the Igor thing, which was. Uh, which was to really kind of tell a scattered narrative. Um, you kind of get that a little bit on this one, but really, all in all, this is a this is a album where Tyler is really getting back into his bag when it comes down to being an MC, and um, he has that unique uh, grit uh, in his voice. He has that deep octave that really gives his his presence on the on the tracks. Um, a, a dominating one and uh, rightly so uh, you could tell that it's something that he's been you know uh, putting in work for years now and uh, he has that unique uh, unique sound um, well not really unique it's really just more of he has that deeper octave he has that strong cadence in his uh, in his uh, vocal delivery where you know who it is every time so we get that throughout the throughout the track list um, I feel like uh, back to the features Tyler it has the ability to give an artist like an NBA young boy or a low Uzi verb um, or a, a, a 42 he can he can take all these great head um, headline feature names um, especially on what's your name uh, He's able to just take these artists and, and and really push them to really give uh, a spotlight performance, and you hear that a few times on this track list, which makes the track list even more um, even more uh, powerful. And I and I'm uh, I, it just really gets me more excited for Tyler's future because, like I said, Tyler is somebody who, after this album, I'm hearing him go on to really kind of step outside of himself and start looking to executive produce, you know, cause he definitely has that from the, his songs uh, are, are pushing these artists to be the best versions of themselves. Uh, there's not really a, a, a half, you know, a half delivered, you know, uh, a performance from these features. Uh, I can't say that. Uh, I, I really do feel like this track list was full of, uh, of spotlit features. Um, I want to talk a, a little bit about um, uh, the decision. Tyler has uh, expressed that he's always wanted a Gangsta Grills type of album, and that's what this is. Um, I uh, j just because of that, uh, that very little small fact alone, I didn't really want to consider this a studio album. It, it does have a mixtape appeal more than an album, especially with Tyler really just going in and not really doing too much of a content narrative he's really he, he has it there where you know he's kind of like feeling himself and he's kind of uh really just you know going into exclaiming about his you know how far he's come and um his position to be able to be privileged enough to uh reap the fruits of his labor and uh really have this kind of you know kind of uh kind of tourist guy type of attitude like oh you're you know you're new to this so call me if you get lost you know i'm, I'm living it up i'm doing what i'm doing and i've earned this um i've been around call me if you get lost you know and i think that tyler has you know he did a really good job of spinning that he really he did a good great job i i was one of the few people who were annoyed with the dj drama i think that that did um, you know, obviously DJ Drama is a legend, uh, but I do think that uh, it, it could have been a little limited. I, I think that it gets tiresome after a while and it, it just it kind of makes the project feel a little dated. It kind of makes the project feel, uh, you know, it's that irritative, you know, that ir irritabil irritab irritability, however you say that word. Um, 
that you that you kind of run into um, and you don't want to run into on repeated listens it just gets tiresome and I think that Tyler could have you know tweaked that down a little bit you know it didn't have to be a full album like we get it um, but uh, if that's what Tyler wanted then you know that's what he wanted so uh, good for him to finally to have uh, achieved that and it's good that he uh, was able to uh, get that from DJ Drama, you know, because it really does submit that uh, staple in uh, his opinion. So good for him to have had that. Um, uh, favorite tracks, uh, favorite tracks. Sir Bald Baldelaire was, you know, a great intro. Uh, I'm looking at the the track list now. Corso hard. Um, what's your name? Hard. Hot wind blows hard. Massa was dumb hard that especially that last verse um let's go with sweet i thought you wanted to dance just the great transitions and the great in the great intro and just the sonic what that thing did man crazy um let's go with rise rise was a was a great was a great vibe juggernaut uzi and uh pharrell man juggernaut pharrell was spitting bro yo pharrell had my favorite verse on that joint um I, I that joint was hard he didn't he surprised me with that usually when pharrell raps it's like whatever but that was that was a hard verse um will will willshire uh however you say that one that was just a really big uh the really big confessional from tyler um i do think that could have been chopped down quite a bit uh i i, I don't think it needed to be eight something minutes it's not like a a uh, sweet or a, I thought you wanted to dance masterpiece where there's a lot of transitions and there's a lot going on for the listener to really uh, lock in and and be there for the ride. Uh, Wilshire is just an ongoing you know uh, narrative monologue from Tyler, um, and the honesty is there, uh, the content is there, and that's dope. But I do feel like it, it, it could have been chopped down a little bit. And then we've got Safari. Safari was a great closer. Um, beautiful production. Uh, Tyler was really, uh, really getting into that bag. Um, and really, you know, he just compliments the Sonic so well with this thing. So, um, uh, as far as I, I wasn't a fan of Lemonhead, I didn't like that beat at all. That beat sounded a little too messy for me and the delivery just didn't, it, it wasn't anything on 42 Doug. 42 Doug sounded great. Um, and you know, he sounded great on the Royce album too. Uh, but, uh, 42 Doug just, um, uh, he, he did his thing but the the beat all together sonically it just didn't do it for me so that's a skip um uh run it up was is a skip for me it didn't really do it for me um i believe i liked manifesto i have to go back because that one's slipping my mind right now uh but um but yeah other than that this thing is a powerhouse of an album tyler's really proving his staple in the game he's, he's on a run and um, I'm excited to see his future. I'm excited to see what he does. Uh, hopefully he ventures out and, and tries to executive produce because he's got it. He's got it there. And I feel like he can push uh, some of my favorite artists. I feel like he can he can push. I feel like him in a Cole record would be nuts. I feel like him in uh, him and Kendrick would be nuts. I feel he can really go and do some stuff if he wanted to. Um, and uh We'll hopefully see, you know, what what happens. Um, he's on a run, and he's proven that he's not to be messed with right now. His catalog is dangerous, coming off of Igor, and uh, "Call Me If You Get Lost" is definitely, in my opinion, that like eight out of ten, you know, eight point five, nine out of ten, even um, type of uh, type of album that we're talking about. So let me know if you guys heard it. How are you feeling about it? What do you think of Tyler's production? Is it a miss from Igor? Do you want more of uh, Igor? Uh, esque narratives in uh, the track list or were you good with this one do you like more of like a mixtape slash album type of Tyler singer songwriter type of Tyler uh, and yeah let me know how you're feeling about it thanks again for stopping by guys hit the like if you like the video hit the subscribe button if you're in for the ride for still slaps we've got a bunch of more uh, original music from myself you can hit the links below to hear my own original music and uh, yeah uh, we got merch coming as well we'll keep an update on you guys for that one and um, yeah let me know how you guys are feeling all about the channel uh, trying to do the best we can to keep the content up and uh, yeah got some a bunch of new things coming for you guys so stay tuned thank Thank you guys again. Tyler, the creator, call me if you get lost. Still slaps. Peace, guys.